like I said, we'll be back in Dark Sword. I told you, like, it's a little bit addicting type of a game because it has its mobile flair but then kind of converted into VR mechanics which aren't necessarily standard for our platform though it is pretty fun to play anyways. I played a little bit, I have a pretty decent level because the last weapon is like for 45 so I'm like halfway. So far I've been playing only challenge mode because it really drastically speeds up your progress and this game is all about levels and DPS so what I'll do is that I'll use like a lower level weapons to go into the basic stages because I'll just one shot anything and that's no fun at all. So to see like the proper mechanics and special moves, I'll just kind of downgrade my equipment and then as it's gonna progress and enemies will go stronger, then we'll just switch to my usual stuff. Crafting is also interesting, like you essentially just do it manually. It really seems like a mobile game. <laughs> You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you. This is just the first step of many steps you must take. Oh yes. So for now I'll be one-shotting stuff for sure. After a couple stages, it's gonna balance itself out. I mean I forgot that my level also gives some damage, so... Oh, we'll see. I also know which upgrades I want, so... Should be fine regardless. Headshots is essentially criticals, some monsters have different weak points, then they have like special moves that I need to dodge and you'll see. <laughs> it's not one shot anymore. They have like an invisibility frame when they spawn. Item drop rate. Arrows can... I have new stuff here. I never saw this. Do we go further or do we go for loot? I mean... 1% is nothing. Ah, whatever. <laughs> also know where I am. <laughs> I'm not playing in my standard setup. The idea is that to not exhaust myself, use a bow in the beginning and then I just dash and then with melee. Because the bow kind of falls off later on. It's like just... It's too much. Spiders I hate, especially the small ones. It's not because it's spiders, it's just they're very small. Ah, 
my hands. <laughs> There is no harm in inviting one of them. I won't be needing healing for now, so let's just do some DPS. Oh. <laughs> the models are so high quality. Oof. He got damaged twice. Normally that's what it kills them. <laughs> Not enemies. I switched my recording place, not due to this, you know, to the other situation with the electricity, but when I was doing the runescape stuff, I was doing it in the salon, but the echo was too big. So I wonder what would be here. It's hilarious that I'm downgrounding my gameplay to not have it too easy. <laughs> Can finish off the small ones. One thing I'm not with the mechanics is that when you're turning, you accidentally just dash back. So I hope the developers will like work. Like while turning to just block the dash back. But that's just very specific. I don't get good stuff. I never played this game in a co-op mode simply because it has some weird time frames you can play because like the servers are offline in specific hours not due to the maintenance it's just that's their like gameplay model I don't know I think we're going to the first semi-boss.
I have specific techniques to like break his attacks and just cancel some stuff. And it's that easy. When you're high level. <laughs> Put your hands in this vessel to restore your health. My hands keep disappearing. Oh, hungry. The Spider Queen's lover. So she has some interesting mechanics that don't matter my level, like. I need to parry her claw to her to turn around. This I need to like dash out. It's good to just move constantly. That way you will like never get hit. Oh my god. <laughs> I have added difficulty. Try Ah, my dash. My sword is not long enough. That's gonna be okay. <laughs> Sometimes I can cheese through it. I must protect my children. I'm not getting close to them because they will jump on me and it's very hard to kill them. That is playing against me. Children, I'm so sorry. I was fairly decent. The spider. 